guys, how's it going? So every single year I do my goals, you know, of that year and uh, this is really a time for me to kind of reflect on some of the stuff that I want to accomplish and things like that. I don't do New Year's resolutions. New Year's resolutions require an immediate act and uh, I don't, you know, it's, it's a new year so I don't see the big deal in, you know, it's just, it's just another year so, so what's gonna make, what's, what's gonna change in you now that didn't change in you before, you know? So instead of doing these immediate changes, which are like New Year's resolutions, I just set up goals, which are something that you continue, continuously work towards to. And uh, that works out better, you know, for me personally. I, um, so far I've had good luck, you know, with my goals and I've been able to accomplish them every single year, the, the ones I set out. And by no means do I, do I, if you guys are going to do this, just keep in mind something. I, you guys are going to notice I'm only going to talk about four things here. Usually goals, like in terms of big achievement goals, are like four or five things, you know, that, that you want to accomplish in the year. You don't need like 10 or 20 goals that you want to do. That, that, that's too much. Make, your, make big significant goals, goals that will take time, and set those. Don't do stuff like, oh, I want to get a new phone. Or I want to get, you know, uh, this game or that game. You know, just, just set up something that takes time, something something that takes work uh, to be put into it. And that is what, you know, one of those goals should be. So try to narrow it down to about four or five significant goals that you, you know, really want to accomplish for the year. And just continuously work towards that, all right? So let's get started with my goals, all right, my personal goals. Um... The number one thing I want to do is get 25,000 subscribers, all right? This is uh, something that, you know, I've been setting every single uh, year. So last year was 10,000 subscribers. We ended the year with a little over 14,000. So that was pretty impressive. Uh, so now I want to do 25,000. We already got a pretty significant head start, all right, which is pretty cool. Um, and so moving into, you know, uh, this year, I want to work towards that 25,000 goal, all right? Once I hit 25,000 subscribers, I think that's pretty much going to be it in terms of me setting goals for a subscriber base because that to me is like a good spot. You know, that that's something that I, I feel like myself, I can be really satisfied with. So I may sit there and say, all right, well, I'm going to, I'm going to peak myself at 25,000 subs and uh, work, you know, n not, not keep that in mind as much as, you know, moving forward. And keep in mind that, you know, subs don't really significantly matter in terms of, you know, because sub count does not always equal view count, right? But getting into press events, you know, things like E3, they do look at subscribers as something. So, you know, that is, uh, it does carry weight when going into, you know, those uh, sort of, you know, topics and, and aspects. So 25,000 subscribers is my goal for this year. I have confidence that we can pull it off. Uh, I'm pretty excited for the new stuff that's coming up, especially with all the games that are going to be coming out. I'm really, really excited, so really looking forward to that. My second goal of this year is to pretty much significantly uh, get into writing the story for the meat of this game project I'm working on. Uh, and I, I've hinted at this, you know, bits and pieces, and uh, this is something that, you know, it, 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 it's grand, right? So it's not as... Uh, it, it's not a small project by any means. It's a large, it, in every single aspect, this is a triple A project, right? Um, but this is a, this is something that I, I you know, obviously I want, I want to do in the future. I want to write stories for games. And so I want to get into more of the storytelling regarding the, the uh, game that I have right now, the idea uh, surrounding it. And uh, the whole roadmap has already been planned, so I, I know exactly how the story ends and begins and, and what happens in the center and leading up to it the whole meat of the story is there i just got to write it out and put it in dialogue and put it in the actual script format um so this is going to be a pretty significantly um long story so this is going to be a really significantly long script um the good thing is for myself at least the story is linear so there are no multiple pathways and endings although you do have choices into you know where you want to what you want to do and how you want to play right but in terms of the ending, it always ends the same way. And I needed it to end the same way because I needed control over the story. I needed to tell a really good story. And uh, it is the first story I'm really writing for a video game. So that being said, you know, I wanted to sort of uh, not make it so significantly difficult for myself and have all these strings, you know, that I have to attach somewhere. Instead, have a good 
really good, solid, linear storyline. And so that's what I'm working on and that's what I want to start doing this year is actually writing and working on the meat of the script for that storyline. The third goal of this year is to actually put a significant amount of savings into my account, all right? As I'm getting older, you know, and uh, I'm not going to sit here in this room forever and just, you know, live off of my, <laughs> my, my, my parents, you know, wealth and stuff like that. So I, I, I need to start, what I need to start doing is building a solid foundation for myself to, you know, survive and and be on my own you know that's really the really big thing at 21 years old i'm still technically young so it's not anything you know that i need to like rush and try to find somewhere soon but i mean if it's if i'm like if i'm like over 25 and you know i'm still like here then then that's going to be an issue so what i need to do right now is just build a solid foundation for my savings make sure that i have money in there to you know go ahead and you know, live comfortably, you know, and it's not, the whole point is not just to move out, and I, I don't understand, a lot of people, you know, a lot of people that are, that are younger just want to move out to move out, and they move out into some shitty apartment or whatever, and then that's, you know, it, it, that's just what they want, they just want to move out and just be away, all right? Myself, it's like, I don't want to, I don't want to just move for the sake of moving, you know, I, the whole point is to progress in your life. It's not to, you don't want to, you know, do the whole roller coaster ride where, okay, I'm doing really well, then I do really shitty. I'm doing really well, I'm doing really shitty. You know, you don't want to do that. So, uh, what I want to do is I want to, you know, a again move forward and like progress you know it's not just to find a place but to find a nice place and to find a place that I can comfortably afford as well um, and to f have like a good foundation a good job a good source of income uh, to the point where you know I can live comfortably within my means if that makes sense so I gotta make a save I, I gotta really just save you know like it, it, build, again build a solid savings foundation for myself in order to achieve that so I'm not going in there just, you know, blind like a lot of young people these days. So uh, definitely uh, gotta, gotta get that started and, uh, you know, that looking forward to that. So it's gonna be pretty good. All right, and the last and uh, final thing that I wanna talk to you guys about for my goals is the, uh, it's just regarding my career. I wanna, this year I wanna break into the video game industry and I wanna actually, you know, get involved in a studio in some position and things like that. My passion is not programming. My passion is not drawing or anything like that. My passion is storytelling, directing, and producing, right? That's, those are the, the meat of what I want to do. Pretty much considering that, that's pretty much what like Hideo Kojima does. You know, he directs, he produces, and he, you know, writes the, the, the story for the game. But he's not a programmer. Um, yet he has, he's like the, the creative vision behind the whole project. And that's essentially the position that I want to be, that I want, I want to do is just, you know, I, I want to direct stuff. I, I want to, you know, take these awesome, you know, ideas out of my head and actually formulate them to, you know, tangible stuff that you can actually play and enjoy. And uh, this is something that actually may be happening sooner uh, ra rather than later. I'm actually going to be heading to Naughty Dog this weekend to, uh, you know, do some play testing for Uncharted 4. And uh, while I'm there, I'm, I might, you know, go ahead and talk to, you know, someone there about a possible, not really. I guess an, an internship, I guess if you want to be like, you know, technical about it. Uh, but what I really want to do is just learn to create a process. For me, um, it doesn't matter whether I get paid or not. I just want to be a part of the creative process. And I want to, you know, I, I, what, I want to, what I want to do is just be around that creative mindset, that creative, you know, area and just learn and you sort of you know just 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 see how everything's you know actually ha this is how it actually happens these are how games are actually made these this is what the developers go through you know on a daily basis that's what i want to do um and so i really want to work you know towards doing that and th again this may be happening sooner rather than later because i'm going to naughty dog uh this coming weekend so i'm gonna be uh, you know doing some play testing on uncharted 4 i want to talk to some people there Naughty Dog is more ideal place for me to to be because it's actually closer to where I live. Um, actually, the funny thing is that the closest studio to where I live is uh, Infinity Ward, I want to say, and you know, you know, for, for for Call of Duty, they're they're the closest, all right. But still, as far as you know, games that 
I guess I really want to be a part of that, really passionate about putting some, you know, putting a lot of work into. Um, Uncharted is definitely one of them, and going to Naughty Dog to, you know, just just be around that mindset. And of course, you know, being around a studio that's critically acclaimed and things like that, you know, that's also important. But I, uh, you got just wish me luck, guys. Um, you know, obviously, this is a big step towards life is when you go into, you know, your career and things like that. A lot of people, unfortunately, um, these days, and, and it is hard, you know, it, it is hard. A, a lot of people don't know what they want to do when they go, you know, when they get out of high school. And I don't know how you're supposed to know what you want to do when you get out of high school. It's that this still this is the, the weird thing about college is because college is useless if you don't have a direction of what you want to do in real life. If you go to college and you're undecided on what you want to do, um, you're pretty much just wasting your time because you're taking courses and classes that don't help you in any single way. Um, when you do have an idea, you know, what you want to do, and uh, by no means was this me. It actually took me a significantly long time. I didn't figure out what I wanted to do until, uh, well, I didn't really pursue what I really wanted to do until about a year ago, right? So that whole initial year or two of me being in college was just me doing general education classes, which in no way helped me towards the major that I wanted to achieve. Um, so really this is, it's important for me to not just, you know, find some place, but to, again, find some place and have a foundation of what I really want to do and make sure that's built to make sure I can, okay, I can go into this, I'm passionate about it, and, you know, this is going to work out really well. So, I'm really, I'm really excited, I'm also nervous, you know, about, about doing that. Uh, this is a big step for me in my life, and, uh, you know, it, it's something that I really hope that, you know, is, is going to go well, and, and something that I, I, I just really... Uh, it's just something I'm really, you know, looking forward to, you know, just just getting started. I mean, when you really think about, okay, I'm 21 years old, all right? I'm 21 years old, and I can tell you exactly what I did the first day of high school. I can tell you exactly how I felt and exactly what I did on the first day of high school. Time flies, right? That's the whole point. Time flies. And at 21 years old, you know, here I am sitting around, you know, I, I, I work with my, my dad, you know, a, a part-time, and that doesn't you know, again, it doesn't really help me do anything with what I want to do. It's a nice source of income, but it doesn't help me in any way of what I, I am actually passionate about. So I need to branch out there. I need to get into the gaming industry. I need to be a part of this creative process. I need to be a part of like-minded people. And uh, I need to work towards this, you know? By the time I'm 35, this is what, I, what I've pretty much set in mind. By the time I'm 35 years old, I want to have, I want to live my ideal life, you know, my, my ideal life. And uh, I got to work towards that because that's less than 15 years and that's not going to be that long, to be honest. Like, time's just going to fly through. So it's, before I know it, I'm going to be like 27 and then I'm going to be like 32 and then, oh shit, here I am at 36. Did I accomplish everything I wanted to accomplish? That's, that's you know, the main question. So... All right, guys, those are my goals of uh, 2016 and uh, really looking forward to, you know, working with them and, and trying to accomplish them, working towards that and everything like that. Really looking forward to it. Thank you guys so much. If you guys have any goals that you'd like to share, of course, leave them in the comments below. Looking forward to uh, checking them out and uh, any questions at all, of course, leave them in the comments and uh, I'll see you guys later. Have a good one and thank you for watching.